on to the next project Let's see a while back I made a homemade grinding jig wheel not a jig I got a um, this US general uh, drill sharpening guide which uh, it works pretty good for what I need now I don't do any kind of precision type stuff so for what I need it's fine but uh, several guys and a couple of machinists and people that know how to do this kind of thing told me my wheel is running backwards it's running toward me and it should be running away from me now I have no idea somebody said rewire the motor you just switch two wires I'm not a motor guy I don't I'm not sure so and the obvious thing that somebody else brought up makes a lot of sense is unbolt the machine and turn it around and set it up so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do now first it's gonna be a lot of cleanup my drill area right here is a mess and you know they get that way so uh, I'm gonna clean all this up unbolt this turn it around see if we can't get it all set back up does this ever happen to y'all all I'm gonna do is turn that machine around and remount it next thing you know everything is how do you say it in disarray <laughs> I decided to clean the whole thing off if you remember there was a gap in the wall there where there was nothing I don't like stuff falling down between there so we just patch it up drill press is sitting on the floor it'll go back to where it was at though all right now got out the paint had some left from the walls on the other side I'm just gonna paint probably up to here I'm gonna paint it white to make it look cleaner and it will actually put help reflect more light off of it because um, I am getting like most people my age the vision ain't what it used to be so uh, there we go and the old phone book I used to write numbers I'm going to paint over that 90% of those are not good numbers anymore or people that I'm not in contact with anymore whatever so sign of the times right <laughs> all right let me get this paint stirred up we'll get a coat on there and see what it looks like did I ever tell y'all that I don't like painting Not my favorite thing to do. It takes too much patience that I don't have. I'm not good at it. See this paint everywhere. There's paint all over me. Spotty and runny, but guess what? We ain't worried about it. <laughs> there it is. It ain't pretty but it don't matter it does reflect a lot of light off uh let it dry for a couple hours and i'll put everything back up there and you won't notice the streaks and all in it so <laughs> i don't have any more gray to repaint the tops down here and uh i don't think i do anyway i look around if i don't have any i'm not gonna worry about it but if i have some i'll paint the tops i would like to do it but have y'all bought paint lately? Uh, it's as bad as gasoline or worse. Good goobly goo. It's over $5 a gallon here this morning. So, Thank you. I won't even get started. Alright, it is the next morning. I had to uh, be out of the shop a little bit yesterday afternoon. When I got back it was so hot that you can't do nothing. Well, I can't. So here we are so far. Couldn't find any paint for this. Doesn't much matter. It's uh, going to get all dirty anyway. So just leave it like that. Now, while I'm doing, I had another radical idea. Uh, we're going to take the, the new old drill press mount here and the porter cable mount here. I want drill press, drill press, milling machine. That for almost a production style 
set up because I walk circles around this shop too much we'll see if we can't fix that a little bit all right drilling station is almost complete got a few more things to hang up uh, I have actually thrown some stuff away which is unusual for me but uh, <laughs> all right back to the original project that we started on the uh, homemade drill sharpener got it mounted back up we got it turned around so the wheel runs the way that uh I think the way that everybody tells me it's supposed to so uh, I've got a drill bit chucked up in there let's give it a little whirl and see what happens here and this is a quarter inch bit turn it over now I'm gonna still have to fool this thing I have to mess with it a lot and I think the angles way off on it let's see going the wrong way of course Let's try the other side. I got to work on that but uh anyway all right the drilling station is almost complete I've got a few more things to hang up got a little more plastic racks I'm gonna put up here to put some more drill bits on uh, I eliminated the shelf that shelf was just basically a catch-all so I've got, um, these are the same two little shells that was already there. I just painted them black. And the original project was turning around the drill bit sharpener. That uh, everybody kept telling me I should turn it because it was going the wrong way. So, okay. Y'all see me doing something wrong or something silly? Tell me. I have no ego. I keep saying that. Got a lot of play there. I might have to adjust, adjust that or deal with that. But uh, all right. Next time I need to sharpen something, I'll try it out. So uh, there we go. I'm gonna call it complete because I have other stuff to do, other work to do. And I thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see y'all next time.